I just want to talk a little bit more about the Last of Us trailer. I've rewatched it so much since whenever one was that Saturday or something when it was released, uh, or when I first saw it at least. Ellie has a tattoo on, I believe, her right arm, and it's like, like it's pretty big. It's it's pretty big. That's what she said. Where the hell did she get it? I mean, like, because at the beginning of the first game, the apocalypse has been going on 20 years. Then it's a whole year playing the game. So that's 21 years. Um, and now, I don't know, Joel looks really old. Ellie looks like, I don't know, she's a young adult. I don't know, I'd say at least 26, 26 to 30 years have passed now. But I don't know, but I would just say around that. So are you telling me that there's someone out there that is still giving tattoos? Like, you know, it just doesn't make sense because well, in the real world, when you get a tattoo, you gotta keep it clean, keep that area shaved and you know, make sure it doesn't get infected and whatnot. If she's getting a tattoo in the zombie apocalypse, you gotta imagine that it's just like a homemade needle, like you know how some people do that crap. And that crap's gonna get infected during the zombie apocalypse, guts, dirt, etc. It just, it doesn't make sense, really, for her to have gotten a tattoo and it be perfectly fine and her arm not be swelling up or getting all messed up, getting ink poisoning or whatever the hell that's called. You know what, never mind, she got bit. So, I mean, if she can get bit and survive a zombie bite and not turn, then I guess she can survive an infected tattoo, I guess. I mean, I don't really... To me, they just, it's just kind of weird, you know? Uh, you know, come on. Where And where did she go to get it? Because Joe don't know how to give no tattoos, unless that's what his job was. But he was talking about the contractor and blah, blah, blah. So you think he works for, like, a construction site or something. That was, you know, in the first game, in the prologue. But, like, I don't know. I just... Did they find someone that... I want to know where that tattoo place is. Like, you're telling me the government, grocery stores, the movie theaters, mall... Everything shut down. But there's still one tattoo parlor out there somewhere in the world just... Tattooing people? Just somewhere... Well, like, where? Where in the world? And so if I wanted a tattoo, I can just go to it? Like, some weird guy that's inked all over his body is just sitting there surviving the apocalypse given tattoos and like when you go inside of his tattoo parlor does it even look like the apocalypse has even started or is it look like his regular tattoo store mm, like i just i'm picturing like a guy named dave like dave's tattoos or ed ed like ed who's the other who else tommy bill i could kind of see bill giving tattoos you know tara from walking dead i could kind of see tara giving tattoos. Tara's tattoos. I could kind of see Tara giving tattoos, huh? T Tandy. Tandy's tattoos from uh, uh, Last Man on Earth. I mean, I, that's not a zombie apocalypse. Still an apocalypse. And Tandy's tattoos. I like that. Now, Tandy, he, he, you've been giving some weird-ass tattoos, and then after he got, gave it to you, like, boom. I have many questions about the trailer, like, who Ellie's saying she's going to kill, kill all of them. Who are all the dead bodies in the place? Are they living in this place? What happened to Tommy? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But my main question is, where the hell did Ellie get a tattoo? And can I get one? That's it. Until next time, stay tatted. Quickly, Alpha, I need five subscribers with attitude.